In Leviticus 6, verses 8 to 13, we have God instructing the priests regarding the fire for the burnt offering. What's the big issue? God tells us three times, quote, the fire of the altar shall be kept burning on it. It shall not be put out. A fire shall always be burning on the altar. It shall never go out. That's verses 9 and 12 and 13. Keep it burning. Don't put it out and never allow it to go out. Why is this so important? Well, what does it symbolize? We read, quote, the sight of the glory of the Lord was like a consuming fire on the top of the mountain in the eyes of the children of Israel, Exodus 24, 17. Here is the real eternal flame, quote, our God is a consuming fire, Hebrews 12, 29. But fear not, Christian, as the unknown hymn writer reminds us, when through fiery trials thy pathway shall lie, my grace all sufficient shall be thy supply. The flame shall not hurt thee. I only design thy dross to consume and thy gold to refine. As we learn in our study of the offerings, the fire was seen to do one of two things. It would, in the case of the sweet savor offerings, turn the animal into smoke and aroma that went up before the Lord as a savor of rest. On the other hand, in the case of sin sacrifices, the fire was seen to utterly consume the animal, including symbolically the sin transferred to it by confession. Of course, the fire was the same fire. It was God's fire. And this is the lesson all believers must grasp. Three times in the book of the Revelation, the book of the unveiling of Jesus Christ, we read that he has, quote, eyes like a flame of fire. Chapter 1, 2, and 19. In other words, everything he looks at, he judges. Quote, for the Father has committed all judgment to the Son, John 5, 22. Someday soon we will stand before him at the Bema, and quote, each one's work will become clear, for the day will declare it, because it will be revealed by fire, and the fire will test each one's work of what sort it is. 1 Corinthians 3, 13. But have you heard of the alternative plan? The Apostle Paul wrote, if we would judge ourselves, we would not be judged. 1 Corinthians 11.31. John Oxenham put it this way, every day is judgment day, count on no tomorrow. He who will not, when he may, act today, 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 doth but borrow sorrow. Why wait until the day? Let us use every day to ask the one with flame-like eyes to examine our lives. Spread yourself out before him and let him see everything. You can trust him. He loves you more than you will ever know. One look from those eyes and one of two things will happen. Either things we may hold dear will be incinerated by his look or they will be purified. Now, it was no easy thing to burn animals to ashes. One modern veterinary manual explains, quote, the material must be arranged in a manner to permit an adequate flow of air to the fire. Under favorable conditions, burning should be complete in 48 hours. But the continual burnt offering lambs were each consumed in 12 hours. One of them burned all night until morning, Leviticus 6, 9, and the other placed there every morning, verse 12. The secret of a good fire, wood laid in order and ashes removed. See verses 10 through 12. Believer, God has the fire if you will be the fuel. If we will set our lives in order before him and remove the cold ashes of past experiences, 
he will inflame our hearts for him so that we can also say, did not our heart burn within us while he talked with us on the road and while he opened the scriptures to us? Luke 24, 32. There can be no true sacrifice unless the fire of God burns within. <laughs> 